Welcome to the Be Fantastic channel, where you will find many fantastic interviews with amazing people. This is the top world museums, incredible zoos, beautiful national parks, special events and much more. These videos are designed to educate, inspire, motivate and entertain you. We hope you will enjoy them. Join the Be Fantastic philosophy. Please subscribe, like and share. Welcome my 4,896 Ambassadors of Kindness. It's September 18th or 19th, <laughs> I'm losing track of days, 2022, and this is day 897 of my journey around the world to introduce the Be Fantastic philosophy. Well, I spent the last 10 days immersed in history in uh, in England, in, uh, well, not, not virtually, not, physically in England, but for all intents and purposes, I lived uh, through the 10 days of the Queen's passing. She passed on, as you know, September 8th, and every day I was glued to the television and taking pictures of the fascinating uh, uh, pomp and circumstance that comes uh, with the passing of a monarch, 70 years on the throne. Uh, it was fascinating. I, did, I, I made many videos in the last 10 days on that. I was... I immersed myself in it, and I was, I've always been enthralled with uh, how the royals work, and I learned a lot about how they did work. But now life goes on. We all pass, and may she rest in peace. I always say uh, one of my many philosophies is uh, re rejoice in the life, don't mourn the death. And they re reiterated that many times. Uh, people, uh, what, I, what I came away from it uh, after 10 days is that uh, there's a lot of kind people in the world. We need more of them than 4,897, uh, but the, and there are more than, than 4,897, but that's in, in my little group of people following the three commitments to kindness. Now, uh, the queen, she really epitomized kindness. She, she gave her life to her country and her family, and, and she had a long life, 70 years on the throne, 96 years. She uh, basically was uh, everyone on the planet was born after her, uh, save uh, for about 100 people, which is pretty amazing. Uh, 96 years is a, a ripe uh, old age to live to. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the videos. Some were without sound on purpose, just in, in, my, in more memoriam. Uh, some had some of my dialogue in describing what you were watching, and some had music. Uh, but they were very beautiful pictures. I hope you get to uh, sit back and, and enjoy them. Most people don't watch my videos. Uh, of my uh, people that know me or are following the philosophy and the movement because they have their lives to live and, that, and that's as they should. There's no time to sit here and watch me talk, but there's a lot of people that are getting some very good, helpful advice from the three commitments to kindness, which is being kind to yourself, others, and the planet. Now, COP27 is coming to charm here, and I hope to be a part of it uh, in some fashion, if just witnessing it again for 12 days. Uh, but I hope to interview some fantastic people. Uh, I want you to call in, because I'm going to go live at times, uh, to give me your advice on how we could uh, save the planet. I know how to save the planet. And that's because uh, I, I realize that we destroyed the planet, so we can fix it. It's going to take a lot of years, 50, 60 years, but it'll be worth it. And, and, and that starts with you, not throwing litter on the ground, using less water and electricity, you know, uh, driving less, uh, less often taking public transportation, eating less meat. There's a myriad of ways we could, uh, we could all contribute into helping the planet be clean and beautiful for future generations. I think that's kind of, kind of important. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to wrap up the, the last 10 days, get on with my life, uh, however that is. Uh, just, and all, all I'm doing is dedicating my life to spreading the three commitments. And I need your help. I want your comments, if you can give me um, some advice. Uh, some suggestions, some introductions, anything that will help introduce the three commitments to kindness to people. Because once you follow them, it's amazing. You know, the word fantastic will change your life because you know, it'll make you look better when you say it. It makes you smile. Fantastic. Great doesn't make you smile. Good doesn't make you smile. Fantastic makes you smile. Smile releases endorphins, which will release stress, which will make you live longer. So you look better and live longer. And you feel better because of those endorphins. 
and you'll get that job interview if you say you're fantastic, and you should say have a fantastic day to your friends and your employees. Tell them they did a fantastic job. The word is quite magical, and it's not used often enough. Uh, Liz Truly, uh, the new prime minister, used it three times in her speech. Uh, I think I heard the king say it uh, once. Um, anyway, it's a fantastic word. Words matter. Words have energy, powerful. They have power. Um, they really do work. Uh, and bad words are, of course, not kind. But uh, to say hello and thank you and you're welcome and please, those are very kind words. And I love you. Very kind words. But the word, the most fantastic word, I believe, is the word fantastic. Because it, 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 it just... Uh, and, and, it will change your life. It's changed my life. It's changed many people's lives, and I hope it'll change your life. So, please share, like, subscribe. Um, if you really do take the time to watch this, uh, give me a, com a comment. Say, I watched. Just say, I watched. That would be fantastic. Uh, not many people watch, and I don't blame them. They have their lives to lead. They have their money. They have money to make. They have things to do. They have places to go. I completely understand that. Most of uh, my ambassadors are fairly important people that are busy. And I, actually, I send out motivational quotes each day to 180 plus groups. And I've met a few people that say I don't have enough time to read it. It's a, it's a quote to make your day, to make you feel better. And they don't have time to read it. So that's, you have to make time for the little things in life to smell a rose, to look at a vista, to take a deep breath. You, just to live to make money is not the answer. To live to enjoy your family and enjoy your friends and enjoy fresh air and enjoy life. That's, you know, many people I've met in my travels and throughout my life have given up money to go out to a desert island or to go someplace where life is not just about making money, about enjoying it. And uh, I have many, many interviews on that point. Uh, anyway, I'm going on too long. i got to keep these short, sweet. Have a fantastic week. I don't know. I guess clapping. Uh.